Let us take a look at how personal and social biases fragment the relationship between people, their communities, and their nation. How do you think those with a vested interest in seeking the crumbling and downfall of nations that allow multiple opinions to coexist further exacerbate disturbances in countries that enable freedom of expression? Welcome to Four Seas One Family. Freedom of expression has become the name card for many democratic nations. However, possessing and distributing this name card comes with many responsibilities. People living in nations that guarantee their freedom of expression must safeguard this right and maintain its proper use and existence. Selfishly safeguarding and promoting ways of thinking that are only beneficial to a preferred group or cause interpret gathered information about topics or policies collectively gathered upon as irrefutable and beyond reasonable questioning or doubt. This disposition is commonly referred to as confirmation bias. You see, confirmation bias revolves around thinking and opinions that formulate decision-making based on information gathered through selected or preferred sources. Those with a confirmation bias often subconsciously refer to their selected references as evidence that proves or confirms that their opinions and beliefs are unadulterated facts when, in reality, they aren't. Those with deeply rooted confirmation bias refuse outrightly to consider opposing explanations that can be used as references to compare, contrast, shadow, and even override their own. Individuals or groups afflicted with this type of bias become encircled within an echo chamber, walled off by boundaries deeply hidden within their personal beliefs and often their souls. Some are even unremorseful about any actions they may have undertaken to express their opinions. Their beliefs and their minds confirm what they perceive taking place around them. However, their principles fail to uncover loop-sided or often presidential reasoning that acts like bobbed wired fences, which, much like being surrounded by bob wired fences, make them unable or unwilling to see through them and come into contact with any information that contradicts their own. Now, to nurture and enrich their focus, opinions, and beliefs, they subconsciously or purposely overlook other possibilities that may weaken their position. Now, cognitive biases obstruct proper scrutiny and decision-making processes that could disable bias observations that lead to presidential policies and practices. Sadly, selective amnesia takes over their decision-making abilities and prevents them from considering that parts of their opinions concerning events happening around them aren't true, slightly accurate, or plainly just lies. Those with a confirmation bias may feel obligated to continue propagating what they believe is true because of the impression that their actions are for the greater good of all those and things they consider important to them. Now, when coming under the influence of any type of bias, it often becomes hard or even impossible for some individuals to repress their emotions and prevent them from transpiring into regrettable, very regrettable actions. These emotional attachments can create blind spots that lead to harmful, destructive, regrettable, and even irreversible results. People are social entities that occasionally and over thousands of years have inflicted harm upon one another, and sadly, this part of us hasn't changed. People tend to gravitate towards communities built upon shared commonalities and sometimes even prejudices. It is often easy to see and sometimes understand why people want their viewpoints to explain, align with, or support an outcome they feel is accurate and relevant. This type of bias is observed in presentations from charismatic individuals that highlight specific causes and effects that exemplify particular outcomes. 
Individuals and groups that exhibit this type of bias are usually more concerned with building self-appraisal and self-esteem that symbolizes their perceived positive attributes while at the same time neglecting to highlight any failures and negative characteristics. In most cases, motivational or self-serving biases begin to take control of collective communal behavior and if not monitored carefully, could be hijacked by destructive influences that only lead down the road to disaster. Now, suppose we choose not to update or recalculate our ways of thinking. Our biases will only remain, and the barriers separating us will never fall and will only continue to get higher and higher. And once we become unwilling to revise an idea or opinion we value, we are no longer Realists. No matter our financial, political, social, or political prowess, we will become self inflicting infectious viruses that spread illnesses upon the minds of a nation's ignorant population. You see, there are always good people on both sides. And now is the time for these good people to come out and act like good people. People fortunate enough to live in nations that guarantee their freedom of expression must not allow their use of this right to be abused or devalued. The misuse or unwillingness to protect this right may cause the world to respond similarly to the moral meaning in this fable, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Everyone hears you, but no one will respond to your words. How do you think those with a vested interest in the termination of multiple expressions to coexist within nations exacerbate disturbances to handicap freedom of expressions? And how should this right be protected? If you have found what we have to offer of any value, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons below to keep up to date with our current episodes. If you're listening to our podcast, please subscribe and help us spread the word that we have a lot more in common than we think. We're very interested to hear what you have to say. Before Seas One Family, I'm James Thomas in Taipei, Taiwan. And remember to stay strong, safe, and healthy wherever you are in the world.